Hello, my little fish. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Um, I lost my voice because I had a performance this week. So that's not the reason why I lost my voice. But it's like, <laughs> it's really sensitive. My voice is really sensitive right now, just to say that. But even though it's St. Patrick's Day, we are almost at the end of Pisces season. And my heart is breaking because I feel like Pisces season went by so fast. And I'm just like, whoa, like I blink and it's about to be Aries season. So my ancestors have really implored me to just go a little bit harder and do like an altar refresh and get ready for like the eclipse season and make sure that my energy is protected. So I figured you guys could refresh my altar with me. How about that? Okay, so first things first, you guys know that I am a water witch. I work through the medium of water, manifesting, doing everything with water. So I have been, and I guess I don't want to show you like my whole altar because I kind of like to keep that stuff private. It is a cult. But I've been using this bottle and I had a self-love altar. Now the goal was to keep the self-love altar for an entire year. But as you know, energy shifts. I still want to have this water, but I'm going to move this to the right side. If I was like facing the direction of my altar, this is about to go on the right side of my altar. Because at first it was on the left. So I'm going to move this over here. I put all of my oil potions inside of these beautiful bottles. It looks a little murky, but I promise you, I just gave it a... So it is clean, even though it looks murky. That's because oil stains are kind of hard to remove. So it looks a little yellow in there and a little oily. But I'm going to try to clean it out even better before I put my next set of oil in there. But this is my perfume bottle that my oil potions go in. And I anoint myself with these oils every single morning. Um, my womb every point of my womb and my third eye sometimes my throat chakra and always my heart chakra so I'm gonna be putting a new oil in here and I just cleaned her she looks so beautiful I get all my oils from a local shop in my area so I've been working with four oils I'm trying to show you them all but they have a mermaid oil I like using their blend I live in an area where mermaids are very prevalent I literally live in the city of mermaids which is like chef's kiss so mermaid energy is a big thing here so they make a mermaid oil at their shop and I do like it I noticed that it has a very dramatic kind of frequency to it so I like to tame it down with e sorry look I cannot say it Ylang Ylang. I don't know why I could not say that just now. I like to tame it down with this. Then, of course, I'm using jasmine oil. Jasmine oil is my main conduit. That's why this one is almost gone, if you can see that. And then I like to add just like a few drops of rose for the Venusian principle, just to make sure I'm connecting to Venus. So that's going to go inside of my oil blend. That's my personal oil blend for myself. So the moon is waxing in Cancer, which is, you know, that's my moon sign. So I really want some water to keep that Pisces Cancer energy. Um, the Venus is also trying my natal moon right now, too. So I have this beautiful divine feminine trying going on right now for me. So I just want to harness that transit and put it into water. So I have this other bottle, which is like that beautiful frequency of mermaid energy like that beautiful teal so this water is for self-love and this water is to amplify mermaid magic inside of my aura so this one is going to go on the left because this is what i'm trying to receive and then this one's going to go on the right because this is what i'm trying to extend to people like i'm trying to extend love and sweetness and good vibes so these are the two principles that i'm working on right now my two waters i love these bottles I am going to go to 
the river. I live right beside a river and I'm going to go collect water from it because it's been like the sun, you know, it's been brewing up. So it's been hit by the Cancer Moon already and by the sun in Pisces. So I want water that's already been charged from the transit and then I'm going to charge it underneath the moon tonight and put this on the left side of my altar. I have these little flowers all over my altar right now like white flowers obviously in a circle and I'm going to switch these out and take all of these off and then go get some new fresh white roses for my altar. Also was working with the energy of the star card it was underneath my candles so every time I light a candle this would be like charging up because I needed some refreshment in my life and it definitely worked I feel like I'm in I've shed a lot of negative self-talk and negative self-belief so that was the point to be like reborn now mind you death can be hard so it was not easy but I do think that I have transitioned out of this energy so I'm about to put a new tarot card underneath my candle holder which looks like this it's really beautiful it's like a rose because I work with the energy of the rose like Mary Magdalene Inanna Ishtar Isis Aphrodite I work with a lot of different goddesses so I always use this as my candle plate so I'm going to change the energy that's underneath the altar I have two beautiful pieces of Laramar matches my ring my ring is a little darker because I think my ring is a you know slightly better quality but these are so gorgeous and then I have this beautiful piece of aquamarine that I've had forever she's ready. she needed a little break for a second but she's ready to come back on the altar so I'm gonna put these up here too and these are gonna be like my main manifestation stones um, recently I was working with Two. I always use two of the same stones to amplify and then a different stone. So that's just the way I work. Um, so I was using two lapis for my last altar and then an azurite. So we're about to change it up. When I say I needed clarity, I needed clarity. That's what the lapis was for. I needed clear vision, clear sight. So... I'm going to take all of the little white flowers off. I might use them for something else. So I've collected all my little white flowers. I forgot what they're called, but I was really drawn to them in the store. I'm going to throw these away now. Then I have this beautiful manifestation journal that I've had since 2019 and it has like just beautiful inscriptions in it. I'm going to start using this again and I have my jasmine flower for when I come back and anoint my candles because I'm going to go get a candle um, for my altar to like raise the frequency for this transit like I said um, and yeah that's it so just a little altar refresh um, I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you later bye oh one last thing I want you guys to see my new libation cup for my ancestors it's so cute my mom actually got me this cup so that makes it even more special and as you can see the water is filled to the brim because I always give my ancestors libations but it's so cute that's their little altar space and then I have other stuff over here, but yeah, it's just precious.